Hey everybody, and welcome back. So, uh, I came back inside to uh, take a thumbnail screenshot for the last video, and I noticed uh, this over here, another tape we missed. Note about computers. What's going on with the computers? Note to self, make sure to always carry these terminals with a the partner. These things could crush your head if you're not careful. Yeah. Yeah, no shit. Alright. Chorus Manufacturing. all the keys. Teddy, I want to see who we're fighting. Not done. Try killing me. Big. Oh, damn it, Teddy! I wanted to kill the big man. Did you cut him in half? <laughs> what the hell? Actually, getting a new coffee mug in the mail. Ordered one on uh, should be here Saturday or no, not Saturday, uh, Tuesday. executive offices. Oh, you're friendly. Why is that? Abandoned, list of demands, sample of frenzy. Uh, 
I'm alone. The others left as soon as the military arrived. Fools. They're just going to make it easier for the government to track us down. It falls to me to finish what we started. I'll release what frenzy I have left and then detonate the factory's reactor. It's the only way to ensure victory. It's the only way to get our message across. What I do here is terrible, but after today, history will remember me as a hero. Leader one. <coughs> this is a message to the tyrannical United States government from the Canadian Liberation Front. The attack on Virgil Wood is only the start of a larger operations that will be experienced by the greater United States in the coming days. To avoid further loss of life, the Canadian Liberation Front demands the following. One, the removal of all United States military personnel from the country of Canada. The reinstatement of Canada as an independent sovereign power. Three, the immediate arrest and trial of the president for war crimes and crimes against humanity. If the above demands are met within the next uh, four days, then this will be the end of it. If they are not met, or if the government tries to stop us, then many more will perish. Make your decisions carefully. <coughs> Canada's on strike. You get it? South Park. Uh, Just you guys up here? Kind of expecting to see Frenzy. Unless we already killed him. Um. Well, it would appear that we have everything. That's far enough, human. You have something that doesn't belong to you. Give us the jar, otherwise we'll tear you limb from limb. Um... What do... what are you doing in Virgilwood? I brought the others here. Called them, that they may rejoin the glorious unity. Why do you want the jar? No, the jar, stupid human! Stupid! Stupid! We want what's inside. It lets us hear the master again! Who's this master you're hearing? The master. Our creator. He sought to repair the world you destroyed. Sought to unify us all. Until he died. We were lost without him. But now, he lives again. In our heads. He speaks to us, all of us. We are once again part of his unity. Um. This isn't Night's, Nightkin's schizophrenia. This is much worse. I used to hear many voices. Too many. Now, there is only one. Uh... Yeah, I guess it's time to put you down. We'll claw your face, tear your flesh, gnaw on your bones! Okay, Disturbed. Gonna kill you! <laughs> <laughs> One second, sir. <laughs> No! No! Alright. Hopefully that covers, uh... Well, hopefully that takes care of all of Virgil Wood. As I go back out and find... 
five more city blocks to explore. have to be loud for me to read them. There's something here. It talks to us. Or, it talks to me. It talks to all of us. The others say it's the master, but the master didn't talk like this. He didn't tell us to chop humans up. Didn't tell us to hurt each other. But chopping up the humans is fun. So it's stomping on them until they're, until they go squishy. That's what new master says. New master makes a lot of sense. Why am I writing this? I have to chop human up. <coughs> Yep. It was probably for the best we put him down. Okay. Cinema. <clears throat> what else is there? Oh, pants. Inaccessible. Okay. Can I detonate that? Can I do that? Where is it? Quick save. I don't know if. Oh, I think I can. a secret tunnel that leads to a secret underground city. Oh god, ants. room. And got some range on that flamethrower. Oh, 
Underground City. Told you. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is that side? I can't pick up this whiskey. All good. Pink Panther. Dead end. 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 Please die. Brotherhood? Nope. What's this? Mini carbine. What's the mini carbine? I want to see that. Jeez, how many mini guns do we have? We take up weight. Missile launchers. That's where we came in. Okay, we've been through everything. Okay, no underground city. Never mind. Well, I think that's all there is for uh, Virgil Wood, which means. Yeah, they used to Okay. I'm just gonna ignore that. Thompson House. As promised. What? Move along, citizen. Okay, alright. Thompson Elementary. Teddy bears.
drugs. Picture of this thing. Come back. Come back. Up. Oh. Face me. Heard about that mutant Owens? Blindest living thing I've ever um. heard. Okay, should I go in here? There's another sign that says keep out. Every time we approach those, good things happen. Initiate. Halt! What's your business here, outsider? Uh, looking for business. Uh, I helped Paladin Williams before. He said I could seek employment here. I'm here to see your superior officer. Nah, I helped Paladin Williams. Sorry about that. Head right through. Oh. Cool. You've been waiting for me. Carry on then. Alright. The Terminus. Better of night. Ooh. Nice. What do you need? Um, nothing for now. They even got digital coffee cups. What do you need? I was gonna steal that gun. Hello. Want some food?
So where is that CO? Is there like a command office or something? Tread carefully around Paladin Lucifer. He's not too friendly. Yeah. From here, yes. You have the smell of someone far from here. A wastelander? West, perhaps. Uh. Who are you? Amadeus, the scholar, the Alpha. Who are you? Let's piss off the Death Claw. But who are you? Do not bother me with these stupid questions. We are both just wasting our time here. Okay, um, you have quite the name. It was one I picked for myself. There was a talented musician centuries ago that followed the same name, Mozart. We follow the same mystery. What mystery? Um, so you can talk? So, I know it is in the Fallout Lord of Dark talking death claws. They're like the FEV advanced ones. I think they were in Fallout 2. And we actually, there was one in A World of Pain down in the underground. Uh, so you can talk? Where I hail from, the concept is not rare. Our types hold vast intelligence that some of you barely tend to grasp. We are stronger, faster, and smarter. However, we lack the motor functions that you humans take so half-heartedly. So what do you do around here? I am the Alpha. I command my flock of this chapter. That was before many went missing. There are few of us left here, and with one of the four broodmothers dead, our numbers continue to dwindle. Uh-huh. So the Death Claw is trained alongside the other recruits? I train my own kind. A mere human wouldn't be up to the task. My kind are intelligent, but the younger ones are ornery. Some go missing in the wasteland, wanting to be their own master. Uh-huh. And the Broodmothers? The Broodmothers are the basis of our kind. The Brotherhood have their elders, but we have our higher kin. The Matriarch gained us a spot in civilization. The Four Mothers stabilized us in the Midwest. There are only three now, after the child foolishly killed her. Uh, what child? Yes, goodbye. Okay. No 
else here? Oh, here we go. Hello. Yes. What is it? I have a lot of paperwork to get back to. Um. So who are you? Quartermaster Edwards. Nice to meet you. This is nice and all, but uh, do you want something? Yeah, I want to know who you are. I can't tell if you're joking or just plain stupid. Either way, I have paperwork to get through for Scribe for Lonnie. And I cannot fuck this up again. Yes. What? Yeah, yeah, your paperwork. Um, can I get some equipment? This equipment's for Brotherhood personnel only. Can only sell to you if you have permission. Okay. Even power armor. So you're not a soldier? <sighs> you must be hired help. You types come and go often. Well, sorry, I can't give you power armor without special permission. Oh. So you're not a soldier? You must be hired help. You types come and go often. Well, sorry, I can't give you power armor without special permission. You said that already. So you're not a soldier? How many times are you going to say that? <laughs> uh... Is there like someone in charge here? Oh, no, definitely not you. Curious, what are y'all hiding behind here? Oh, it's just your kitchen. Snacks are. I'm gonna eat all your Oreos. No, I'm gonna take all of your Oreos apart, eat the icing, and then put them back in the box. Oh, I just remembered that hell of, uh, that vertebrate on top of uh, the Hollis Hotel. We were supposed to be able to inspect it, and I never went back and did that. <laughs> I'll have to do that next episode. But hey, we made it to Thompson, so. This is. Jail. Traff trafficking? Oh, train trafficking control. I'm not sure who I should be speaking to. Initiate Warren. Can I help you with something? Uh, so I have you on cleanup duty? Yeah, it was Lord Paladin Joshua's punishment. But frankly, I don't mind it. Better than sweating in the sun like a smelly pig. But you're out in the sun. What can you tell me about the Brotherhood? Uh, well, that's a bit of a bold question. Just know that we care about the people of the Wasteland. That's really all I can put into words. Okay. Super Mutant? Hmm. Um, hmm, hmm. Oh, administration. Okay. We have a can. Patient's condition has improved since removing can. I haven't seen I you, around, haven't the base. Seen you uh, around the base before. And you don't like Brotherhood. You must be the new specialist, I assume. Uh, yeah. Well, let me get introductions out of the way. I'm Scribalin. I'm the latest villain for the role of Doctor. So if you need patching up, I can help. Um. Who are you? Scribalin. I used to work on researching medical supplements, but that wasn't deemed as valuable in the current war climate. 
But who are you? Uh, Scriblin. One more time? Scriblin. Scriblin? I think this conversation is no longer necessary. Good day. Wait, Scriblin? Yes. Can I have a question? Um, do you have any work? Mercenary to your very core, are you? No, I don't have anything for you. Uh, what can you tell me about the Brotherhood? Look, I'm really rather busy now. I'm sure anyone else can give you a history lesson if that's what you really want. Now, if you have any medical issues, I'd be happy to help you. If you don't, then I'd prefer that you leave me alone. Please. All right. See you later, Scribblin. Oh, God. What happened there? Train trafficking control. Multiple stab wounds. I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't mess with my patients, thank you. Okay, sorry. Heard about that new prisoner? You guys got a prison? Oh yeah, you do have a jail. Oh, Owens. Oh, Hello? Is someone there? Step a little to the left so I can see you. Ah, oh, yes. I see you clearly now. Hmm. You must be more of that hired help. You must have been working with one of the paladins of the outpost. Uh, yeah. So who are you? My name's Owens. It's nice to meet you. Who? Owens. Uh, tell me about yourself. I was in the Master's Army long ago. Had better sight then. I was a first generation super mutant. After the Master, I lost my sight. Uh huh. Literally and figuratively, got shot in the eye by a Brotherhood soldier while roaming the wastes. Western Brotherhood Arnis. Welcoming. Uh. Lived in Broken Hills for a time. Nice place. Well, things got a bit tense at times over there. I decided to find myself and headed east. I eventually got mixed up in the Midwestern Brotherhood Conquest. Helped them find a place called Vault Zero. It was a long conquest, but it's nearing a close. Hard to believe I've been around this long. But with my R's and all, I don't know how much longer. Hmm. What do you uh, do around here? Just work in patrols. Sometimes I assist with resident outreach. Recently, we've been trying to reach out to the muties in Virgilwood. No success. Uh. Those types just tend to shoot and use your bones for hearts later. Okay. Had a few more junkies from the compound last night. Uh. Oh, you must be who I'm looking for. Can I pick this up? What is this? Okay. Anyway. You're not a member of this garrison. Who are you? And what are you doing here? Uh, I worked with Paladin Williams, and I thought I could just look around since he gave to go okay. Ah, so you've done work with Williams. We haven't had much contact with them in a while. It's quite a trek from here to there. Hmm. Maybe it's useful you happen by. I could use someone like you. Sometimes, a different mindset can make all the difference. Um... What do you want me to do? I need someone to investigate a few of our outposts. We have four of them out here, and we haven't heard a peep out of them. I need you to go to them. Just find out what's wrong, and tell them to send word back here. You do this for me, and I'll let you buy from our quartermaster. Okay. So, what do you say? Does that pique your interest? 
Uh, yeah, I can learn there. Good answer. I'd hate to throw another person into that poor excuse for a jail. All right. Eyes and ears. Looks like we're uh, working with the Brotherhood again. All right, so I'm gonna cut here, and um, we'll see y'all in the next episode. I hope y'all enjoyed. I'm glad we're finally at Thompson. <laughs> I just wanted to wrap up everything in Virgil Wood, although I do have to go back and check out that helicopter real quick, but that'll be like a few minutes. So anyway, y'all have a great day. See y'all later.